The Ukrainian Railways announced plans on Tuesday to stop passenger rail services in southeast of Ukraine, Oleg Titov, head of the company's legal department, said. The company was planning to stop the movement of passenger trains in the zone of military operation in Ukraine's southeastern regions. Russia's ruling United Russia Party has condemned Ukraine's plans to remove any mention of the Great Patriotic War of 1941-1945 from history textbooks. These plans were announced on Tuesday by Vladimir Vyatovich, director of the Ukrainian National Memory Institute. All after effects of the Soviet-era propaganda and primarily a myth about the Great Patriotic War should be dropped from the educational materials and textbooks, he said. Next step of the Ukrainian National Memory Institute. Rehabilitation crimes of Nazi accomplices in Ukraine. The wall which is being built on the Russian-Ukrainian border is unacceptable, Council of Europe Secretary-General Torbjorn Jaglan said on Tuesday. The wall destroys the faith of people and their families. This is unacceptable. It is necessary to strengthen an idea of common European home, Jaglan said. Former U.S. President George Bush's national security advisor Stephen Hadley has called on the CIA to provide little military assistance to the Ukrainian government. So far, the White House has officially relegated support to non-lethal assistance despite Kyiv's request for lethal military aid. However, some political analysts believe that all this talk about lethal aid and non-lethal aid ignores the fact that the non-lethal aid that the U.S. have been given Ukraine has been used in a lethal context. To give armor to troops, to send them into the battlefield to kill people, including civilians. You can call it non-lethal aid, but it is being used for lethal aims. Madi Darius Nazimroya, a research associate at the Center for Research on Globalization and a contributor at the Strategic Culture Foundation told. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive up-to-date news on situation in Ukraine.